Good day and greetings for the Great White North. My name is Prickly Poo and welcome to week 71 of weight lossness. I don't know what to call this. Um, it's just sort of a continuation of the first series, I guess. So week 71, that's it. Um, this week has been, well, the end of last week and the begin. We'll get to the weight loss in a bit, but the end of last week and the weekend um, was really odd. Um, not in a good way. Just sort of like nothing bad happened, but I started getting sick near the end of the week and just kind of wasn't, uh, didn't feel like doing anything. Um, I was still sort of doing my exercises, but I hadn't done my treadmill properly throughout the week. Um, and then Sunday was even worse. I got really kind of bleh on Sunday, not barfy, just, just that ugh, achy. I don't want to do anything. Um, Monday, it got so bad that I contemplated actually calling in sick to work which I've never done, um, and at the place I'm at. I've done it before when I'm really, really sick. But uh, just it, eventually I, I really sat there and went, okay, I'm just going to either sit at my computer at home or I'm going to sit at my computer at work, so I might as well go to work. So I went to work and just felt like hell the entire day. Came home, didn't do any exercise. I had started doing my treadmill Monday morning, um, I think. And I think I got maybe a, two kilometers in and that was it. Um, actually, I don't even know if I did anything on Monday. Can't even remember. Let's, for the sake of argument, we'll say I did nothing all day Monday. Um, and then Tuesday I woke up, I was feeling a little bit better, but still not 100% to a point where I thought, oh, you know what, I just, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do my treadmill. I hadn't done my exercise of the day before. Actually, it got so bad on Monday, and I didn't notice this until Tuesday morning, that um, I didn't even log anything in my fitness pal all day long. Um, I went back in there Tuesday morning because I thought, well, I haven't really put my, I didn't finish my diary off because I just zonked out when I got home. <clears throat> but uh, when I went in there, it was completely empty. So I thought, oh shit, did I even log in? Did I lose my streak? Did I, which I didn't, I'm okay. Everything's all right there. But I had put in all the food that I had and, you know, finalized everything and did it then. It didn't really register anything, but to a point where, you know, I'm not logging anything during the day, obviously not feeling well. So Tuesday I got up. And um, sort of at that stage where, yeah, I could, I could, you know, sort of fool myself into thinking I'm too sick to actually do any exercise. I won't really do anything, um, you know, I, and it would be believable, sort of justify it to myself. But I thought, you know, if I do that, it's been, you know, it's been a few days because I don't do it on the weekend and hadn't done any of the push-ups or sit-ups or anything else. I hadn't done anything in like three days. So I thought, no, I'm going to get on there. I'm going to do it. And I'm glad that I did. I always feel better afterwards. Um, I don't get like a runner's high or anything like that. It's just there's that sense of accomplishment. Um, and I'm not, you know, I wasn't worn out. I wasn't wiped out. I wasn't exhausted like I thought I was going to be. Felt a little bit better. And throughout the course of the day, of course, I felt better and better and better. So um, and then I was able to sort of get things back on track. <clears throat> but still have a little bit of something. I don't know what it is. But um, there are times when we just sort of feel like you have those feelings when you're just like, I don't want to do anything. I want to stay in bed all day. I don't want to see anyone or talk to anyone. I just want to nap and eat and do nothing all day long. And at some point in the future, I'm sure I can afford a day like that. Um, but I can't right now. But something had happened actually yesterday that um, was kind of weird, but in a neat kind of way, it's encouraging. Um, actually about a week ago, um, and I may have told you this already, um, I ran into one of the people in the building and I'm not a big outgoing, Hey, let's go talk to the people in the building and see all my neighbors and say hi to them and bake cookies and borrow sugar and whatever our neighbors do, slap each other, sleep with each other. I don't know what they do. Um, I'm more of a, you know, I'm going to stay the fuck away from everybody and just leave me alone. Um, I've had people actually ask me how long I've lived here. And I'm like, well, it's seven years or so. And they're like, oh, because they think I'm a new tenant <laughs> here because I'm just, I'm never around. Um, and I like it that way because I don't want people knocking on my door and saying, oh, hey, do you know this or that? Or talk to people. Go away. I, this is my home. I don't want you in it. Anyway, that's a little off topic, but just to sort of give you the background to this. So um, I had come home from work and one of the people in the building stopped me and started talking, you know, and it became clear very quickly that I wasn't who they thought they were talking to. Um, and so 
you just, I don't really know how to approach that subject when you you're saying I'm I'm not them because they didn't say anything. It's just that little thing that they were asking. Like this isn't a conversation that we've had before. I haven't spoken to you in like two years. I know who she is because she's lived here forever. Um, but so finally it dawns on her. You could see the look in her eyes, and she just went, "Oh!" And you know she finally it registered who I was. Um, and it's because the, probably the last time that I saw her, I was, you know, it was probably been a, I know it sounds weird living in the same building, but it's probably been a year, year and a half since I've seen her. Um, and so of course, last time she saw me, I was probably still around the 300 mark. Um, so of course it's, she kind of didn't know what to say. Cause the first thing that people say when they haven't seen you in a long time is like, are you, should I bring it up or are you dying or what's going on? Um, but anyway, yesterday I came home from work. And um, she was outside, and she said something again. So, of course, I'm like, all right, I'll be friendly enough. And, you know, oh, look, I'm gathering groceries out of my car. This means I have to leave you now and go inside and not come back out and talk to you. Um, so it's, but, you know, just sort of having that conversation. And she actually asked, she said, well, who are you trying to impress? I'm like, I'm not trying to impress anybody. Uh, I'm not doing this for someone else. To hell with them. I'm doing this so that I can, you know, not be out of breath when I walk up three stairs. Um, but we had a little bit of a conversation there and, uh, you know, told her how much I had lost so far. And at this stage, it's around 115 pounds. Um, but it's encouraging because as odd as it is, I mean, this isn't someone who's ever been overweight. She's probably always been, you know, 110 pounds. But still, just having that conversation and just sort of registering once in a while, like, especially at a time when you just think, I just, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to diet. I don't want to record. I don't, I just, I want to have a week where I can just sit and eat what I want and not do anything. Knowing that I can't do that without there being severe repercussions afterwards, kind of buggered that word up. Um, it's nice to actually have a conversation with someone who hasn't seen you in a very long time and sort of brings it up and just to know that, you know what, okay, that sort of gives me another little bit of a boost. It's not from someone who's like, oh, gee, I wish I could do that, or, you know, how are you doing it? Give me details. Just being able to tell someone, you know, I'm, I've lost about 115 pounds. <laughs> I've lost about as much as they probably weigh, and I have another 35 or 40 to go. Um, but just sort of being able to vocalize that and... You know, to someone that has no idea what you're doing and, you know, because you have friends that you talk to about it all the time. So, you know, they sort of, they know what you're up to and they know what your weight loss has been. And I mean, tracking things on my fitness pal when I do it, um, it sort of keeps people up to speed and things like that. But bringing it to someone brand new, um, you sort of sit back and you forget, you know, like, yeah, that, that is, that's a, that's a person, small, skinny person, but it's still a person that I've lost. Um, and when you think I've lost a third of my body weight at this point, um, actually a little bit more than a third of what I weighed. And it's, you know, even saying that you're just like, that's, that is a lot. It's, it's hard to visualize it. I mean, I, I can go back and look at old videos and things like that, but to be able to say that it does give you that kind of, you know what, I'm doing pretty good. I'm all right. And you would think that at some point it would give you that thought process of, you know, I know I've, I've earned it. I can have that week where I can eat whatever I want and not diet and not, you know, not diet, diet, but you know what I mean. Um, not record my food and just eat whatever I want, which pretty much have been doing from day one anyway, but you know, it's kind of going overboard even on the weekend. I just like, I don't care. I'm just going to have non-healthy things. Um, but getting that sort of feeling of, you know what? No, this, this is still working. And you would think that it's going to sort of push you into that, I deserve this, I can have this treat whenever I want. But instead, it's just sort of, no, I want to keep going. I want to, because I've only got 35 or 40 pounds to go to hit my actual final goal. And at this stage, I've only got four weeks to actually get rid of the last 10 pounds, nine point something. That's the other thing. I did have a little bit of progress this week when I did my weigh-in. Not much, less than a pound. But still, it's progress is progress, right? There's the weight por loss portion of it. Um, so having that is, it's really encouraging because you think, okay, you know what this, yes, you, you sort of forget because you're so close to it all the time and you're looking at it going, well, I've only lost a pound or I've only lost half a pound or, you know, whatever it is, but this has been over a course of a very long period of time and we know that we're going to keep on going. 
So I want to keep going. I want to stay on this course that we've sort of set for ourselves and say, okay, you know what? Obviously, it's doing some good. It's actually, it's working. And yes, we, we know that it is because we can sort of look back at that, but it's really difficult to sort of gauge that yourself. Um, having a stranger, pretty much, someone that has been in the building for 10 years, um, having a stranger come up to you and say, oh, I haven't seen you in forever, and yes, it's obviously whatever you're doing is fine. Um, it is really encouraging and sort of gets you out of that rut when you're just kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to take a break. I've been doing this for so long. I just want cake. That's all I want. Um, but not to that stage yet. Um, but every now and then I'll have those days when I think I just, I don't, I'm done. I don't want to do this. I want some time off. It's just like, you know, you're, you can go to work every single day. Eventually you need to take a vacation. You just need to unplug from everything from work and actually not take your work home with you and actually just take some time off. Um, and I think it's the same thing with stuff like this that, you know, we've been focusing on this for so long for, you know, better, well, 71 weeks at this point. Um, just nonstop, that's, that's what everything has sort of been looking at. Like every single day, this is what we've been focused on. Um, but, and you kind of feel, no, I need to have a bit of a break. But having conversations like that, it sort of, it gets rid of that feeling. I know at some point I'm going to need to, to have either that conversation again or else I'm going to sort of fall into that funk again. But it's nice to be at, at a stage where I think, okay, you know what? No, I can keep going for a few more weeks. That'll keep me going for quite some time because I know that it's working. And whether you're seeing it on the scale, whether you're seeing it in your clothes, whether you're seeing it in your face or, you know, other people are mentioning it to you, it's, you know, if you can, I know this is a little self-serving, but go seek it out. Go find someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time and say, hey, you want to go for coffee? Just sort of fish for those compliments because it doesn't take much to keep us going, yeah, I do feel good. I have lost weight. Things are good. And then sort of keep you going on for the next few weeks. And if we can do that every few weeks, then I think it'll make things a little bit easier. So start fishing for compliments. There you go. <laughs> That's a really underhanded, douchebaggy, manipulative thing to do. But it will help if you can, you know, if you run into someone and some of you have probably experienced this where you run into someone that you haven't seen in a very long time and they just, you know, that look on their face, they're like, are you, are you sick or are you actually doing this on purpose? Um, it's happened a couple of times and each time it feels really good and, you know, yeah, it's self-serving, but you know what? We've kind of earned it. We've worked really, really hard for this. And, you know, if we can do something so small like that, that's going to keep us going for another month or so, then by all means, do it. Because you can't live on the little rice cakes and steamed vegetables and everything else every single day without going crazy. So having someone every once in a while just say, you know what, whatever it is that you're doing with the steamed rice and the rice cakes, which we did talk about, you shouldn't eat rice cakes. They're gross and they're bad and they're just they're shit. There's much better things out there. Um, then, yeah, if it's going to keep you going and keep you motivated to continue on what you're doing and not get to that stage where you just think, I just, I want a day where I can have nothing but gummy bears and cake, then by all means, do it. Because that's what we've been doing for the past year and a half, is just having those little tiny moments that keep us going and keep us motivated. And it, it doesn't take much. I mean, we are, not that we're starved for compliments, but we can live a long time on compliments from people. And it's a little hard to take sometimes because we aren't used to it. Um, you know, we just kind of go, uh, thank you, or just pat them on the head. I don't know really how to respond when I get a compliment like that. But it's to a point where it's just, you know what, I'm going to make my, I'm going to let myself feel, make myself feel good. That sounded really bad. You can't do that on the bus. They will kick you off. Um, but it, you know, I'm going to let myself feel good with someone saying, you know what, you look good, whatever you're doing, you're thinner. Even if you're like me, you still have another 40 or 50 pounds to go. Um, you know, it's still knowing that you've made that much progress does sort of give you a little bit of a boost. So suffice it to say, um, you know, started back in right away, uh, doing the exercises and everything else, feel a little bit more energized on it. Um, doing treadmill, which I had done in the morning but just sort of everything coming back into it and I know I keep saying this over and over and over again but um you know having those shitty moments when you're like I just I'm sort of I'm burned out from doing this for so long having something like this is a very very welcome feeling overall so I think I'll be good and I have four weeks 
to lose roughly nine and a half to ten pounds which is a bit over what I thought I was going to do um, because we want to keep it around one or two pounds a week. Um, but now that I'm sort of back into the exercising thing and everything else, we'll see how it goes. I think I'll be able to make it. Maybe. If not, I'm going to be very, very close. And at the very least, you know, we're going to be in the ballpark. But I wanted to have a hard goal, um, you know, in a, or a hard target goal. Target? Goal? Cool. Target, target, go, go. There we go. Uh, whatever it is, um, I wanted to have a definite timeline where I can say, all right, here's where I need to lose this. And then after that, then it's going to be week 100, I think, is where I want to try to hit my final goal. Um, which now I think about it is actually two years. Shit. I was kind of hoping to do that in nine months, wasn't I? Oh, well. Um, we've adjusted so many things over the course of these series that um, it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, as long as we hit it, I don't care if it takes me two years to get to where I want to be, at least be there, and things will be good. So that is what is in store for the next few weeks, but for right now, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please vote the like button for me. In the meantime, have a warm and fuzzy, and I'll see you in the next video.